The story begins with Boruto waking up angry at his father. Because yesterday Naruto forgot the promise about coming back early at home to have fun with Himawari and him. He is very confused and angry because Himawari was waiting for his dad till midnight. Boruto decides to go to the Hokage office and fight with his father. Hinata tried to talk with Boruto, but she couldn't change his decision. He left the house and ran towards the Naruto's office, thinking about beating the shit out of the 7th Hokage. Soon enough, he was facing the gigantic castle of the foreign village, and he got shocked as he wasn't in the Konoha. He got scared pretty quickly, and all the rage he had inside of him about his father disappeared. Suddenly, his eyes changed into Jogen for a second, and then went back to normal. Boruto realized that everything had to do with Jogen's abilities, and decided to figure out what was going on and what place he was in. Army of soldiers started running towards Boruto. He got shocked since he didn't know what to do. Boruto wanted to use some chakra and prepare for the fight, but he couldn't do it because for some reason his shinobi powers and chakra weren't working in this world. Boruto said that he was a ninja of Konoha village and if something happened to him, his village would destroy their land. Boruto asked some questions about the place, since he wanted to know where they were. Soldiers didn't say anything at first, they just high-fived each other. They got extremely happy and one of them started talking. She was the captain called Akari. It was an army only for women and they got excited when they saw a man, since they didn't allow any man to live free in their land. Soon, Boruto got taken into custody and all the soldiers went inside with him. They said that boy was looking very good and it had been a long time since they encountered with a cute man as he is. All of them were from the same clan which had one special ability. If they seduced the man and made him fell in love with their beauty, that man would do anything they wanted for the rest of their life. Surprisingly to them, Boruto rejected to whatever they wanted to do with him. Girls got angry because they had never seen a man who they couldn't seduce. Boruto wasn't looking like convinced into their game, but the captain had a plan. Akari had the abilities to enter into everybody's head and see everything in it. Also, she could change her appearance into somebody else. So that's what she did. She entered in Boruto's head and tried to find something to manipulate him. Boruto got shocked. He couldn't believe into his own eyes. Akari's strategy seemed like it was working. Akari changed her appearance into Sarada to seduce young man and make him fall in love. It seemed like she was doing a great job, but something happened. Suddenly, the door opened and some people came in. They were angry at Akari's actions since they shouldn't have acted that way. The person who came in was a general, and she had new prisoner for the jail. Also, she said that Boruto must have been executed by the following day, since he was from the other world and it must have been done for the balance of that universe. Everyone agreed and left the room. Boruto started talking with the other prisoner, who ended up being the princess of another nation of that universe. Boruto explained his story to her about how he ended up being a prisoner. The girl explained that she was a princess from another nation and her father was a king of the biggest army of their universe. Boruto and the princess, whose name is revealed to be Arya, form an unlikely alliance within the confines of the prison. As they converse, Boruto learns more about the intricacies of this foreign universe and the delicate balance that exists between different worlds. Arya, sympathetic to Boruto's plight, shared the knowledge of possibilities of existing away to escape execution. Boruto, still confined in the unfamiliar prison, discovered that Princess Arya possesses a unique magical ability. However, she was bounded by enchanted handcuffs which was suppressing her powers. Arya urged Boruto to utilize his mysterious eye, the Jogen, as it seemed to be the only power unaffected by the foreign world's restrictions. With newfound understanding and control over the Jogen, Boruto successfully removed the restraints released Arya and unlocked her magical potential. Then liberated, Arya activated her abilities. They broke the window of the jail cell and left it, overcoming obstacles and subduing guards with Arya's unleashed magical abilities. They reached the docks, where a concealed boat became their ticket to escape the foreign land and embark on a perilous journey towards Arya's homeland. As they were sailing across treacherous waters, Arya confided in Boruto about her father, the king of a powerful nation. Arya promised Boruto that if he helped her to get back with her father, they would do their best to help him to return in his world. 
Boruto agreed, and they kept going on their journey. They finally reached the new land where their journey will start. Hello there, my name is Lucas, and this is our new project. If you would like to see more parts of this, let me know in the comment section down below, and I'll finish this storyline. Also, if you would like to see long-format stories of this style, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you, and see you in the next one.